Hey everybody, it's Tony from A Moron in the Woods, and um, I just had my first uh, cop block type uh, experience, and I'm going to post the video here, and just want everybody to know I am not anti-cop. I am not like one of these guys that goes out all the time and does these um, First Amendment audits, but I do watch a lot of those videos, and I thought that how the police behave in a lot of the circumstances is outrageous. So, as an experiment, I've attempted to do my own, and sure enough, today, on the, uh, what is this, the 6th of, no, 4th of February, 3rd maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll have to look that up, but uh, anyway, today, on uh, Wednesday, I had my first experience with an overreaction from uh, law enforcement, and I'm going to post the video. Hope you like it. Leave your comments. Oh, right. Oh, my baby's sad, but maybe these people will be more sad if I videotape them. Do you think they might be more sad if I videotape them? Don't videotape them. Why not? Because they will not like that. <laughs> probably not. No Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. What does that say there? The guilt? That guilt shall not escape, and then it says something else, nor, I'm not sure what the final word or phrase is. Hmm. So a guy did come out of the office and he was yelling at me that I should go there, and he clapped his hands. Hey, come here. It's like, okay, not. All right, well, that was cool. We'll see what happens when I go down the street here, see if he calls the cops. Oh, there he is in his gray Ford F-250 coming after me. Let's see if he actually tries to pull me over. This will be hilarious. Here he comes. Papa, hurry, drive faster before he gets you. What's he gonna do, Bubba? What do you think he's gonna do? He's gonna get you. How? He's gonna chase you around here. Well, he's behind us with his lights on. Something. No, can I help you? Yes. What's that? I do. I need to see your driver's license. No. Who are you? I'm Tommy Farmer with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Oh. And why are you pulling me over? I'm pulling you over because you just drove through our parking lot for the second time and recorded our our building. Yeah, is that and illegal? Why are you why are you video? Is that illegal? I need to see your driver's license. No, I'm not showing you my driver's license. So I'm gonna leave now? Am no, I detained? You're not. You're, Am you're, I lawfully detained? You are being detained. For what reason? Absolutely. For what reason? For what reason? Show me your ID. Show me your ID. See my badge? I see your badge, but that doesn't give you the right to pull me over. It does. Are you authorized to enforce any uh, traffic laws in this state? Are you? I'm going to drive away now. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Are no, you Are you detaining me under color of law right yes, now? Yes, I am. Okay, then I'll get sue you. You can sue me. Okay, I will then. Thank you very much. What do you think I was doing unlawful? Sir, stand by. I'll be no, that. what do you think I was doing unlawful? What do you think I was doing unlawful? Hey, Janice, Tom Farmer over at TBI. Can you do me a favor? Can you get a mark? Can you get one of the city units to meet me over here? Yeah, you're going to learn something. Jersey Pike at Bonnie Oak. Let's drive away, okay? I know, I should drive away, shouldn't I, baby? Yeah, let's drive away. I, I think we should. He has no right to pull us over. No. I'm going to sue his ass, is what I'm going to do. No. I will. I will. No. I will. Papa, that guy will put you 
Oh, I can't wait to post this on YouTube. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, you like YouTube, don't you? What's he doing? He's just back there talking to somebody. Yeah. And he stopped us. I know. I know, I'm gonna get a bad X. Okay, I just stopped the video for a second because I didn't want the video to run too long per segment. But anyway, he's still back there talking on the phone. He's trying to call somebody, I don't know who, but I'm gonna leave here in a second because uh, he has no authority to stop me. And uh, he says, I am lawfully detained. Therefore, he must have reasonable, reasonably articulable suspicion that I was engaged in some kind of criminal activity before he pulled me over, which of course he does not have any such information of any kind about me. All I did was pull through their parking lot, which is not illegal, and I videotaped their building, which is also not illegal. So I need him to uh, get back in his truck and leave after he gives me his name and ID number. That's like he could be mad. But that's not our problem, Bubba. You know why? Because we're free Americans. We have the right to do what we want as long as it's legal. And of course, I did everything legal, and now he's just detaining us for no reason. Hey, I'm going to leave now, okay? I'm getting set to leave. I'm going to leave, okay? All right, see ya. What's your reason for detaining me, sir? Get over here. If you're going to detain me, you better explain. Get over here. Get over here, sir. You are real loud. I know, right? Go, Right? What's your reason? Get over here. Get over here. What's your reason for detaining me, sir? What law did I break? Come here. Come here. No, he's not listening. Why are you blocking me? Why are you blocking me? Why are you blocking me? Get in your truck right now. For or what? Get in your truck. For what reason? Sir, get in your truck. Why? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm giving you a lawful order to, to get do in what? Your vehicle. What authority do you by. think you have for me? Over me? Please stand by. Set in your vehicle. What is your name? Right in your vehicle. What is your name? My name. I've already told you my name. I'm sorry, stand I missed right it. There. What was it? Department's on their way over here right now. Please stay in your truck and stay right there. Why are you stopping me? What did I do illegally? Do you think videotaping is illegal? 
Do you think pulling through your parking lot is illegal? Tell me. I'm going to shut this off real quick because I don't want these segments to get too long and my memory card to get filled up before the cops show up. Chattanooga Police Department will be here in just a minute. And uh, as soon as we figure out what you're doing and who you are and what you're, what's going on, and we make sure that you're not a security risk to me or my office, then we'll let you go. Do you, right? Well, there's the police, but Good. do you think there's some uh, law against pulling through your parking lot? How can you be part of the Bureau of Investigation if you don't even know what the laws are? Well, it'd be better if this guy wasn't detaining me for no reason. Uh, okay, well, step out of the vehicle and let me talk to you. Sure. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. You got any ID on you? Yeah. Did you get that out for me? No. What's your name? Tony. Tony. I'm not giving you my last name. Why aren't you giving me your last name? Because this guy had no right to detain me. I did nothing wrong. What did I do that was illegal that this clown pulls screaming out? Hold on. I'm just talking to you. We're okay, he comes. I'm mad. Okay. This guy right. has no right to detain me. None. Zero. I drove by with my camera, filming the office. Turned around to the end of the street, came back, pulled through his lot, filming his office. He comes screaming out of his office, yelling at me. I have no obligation to stop for him, so I drive away. You realize he's with the Tennessee Bureau of en Enforcement, right? So what? Well, he's a law enforcement professor for the state and of Tennessee. He can detain you all he wants. No, he can't. Yes, he can. Doesn't he have to have reasonably articulable suspicion that he I was does. engaged in a criminal activity? He has, he has to have reasonable articulable suspicion Period. That I was engaged in a criminal activity. activity. No. Any activity. Oh, he could be suspicious that I'm wearing the wrong color underwear today he and pull me up. No. If Incorrect. Been, if you're filming Incorrect. Good. No. Okay, Tony. Well, Incorrect. what's your first name? I'm Tony. Where's your ID? I'm not giving it to you. You have no right to ask me for my ID. What's your business Tennessee, in this parking lot? Uh, I go to FedEx all the time. You go to FedEx all the this time? This parking lot? None. Yeah. Because he pulled me over and I pulled in here. So you have no business in this parking lot at not all? Not this parking lot. Okay, so you're trespassing on this parking lot. Incorrect. He pulled me over. Where did you want me to stop? On the street? Anywhere. This parking lot. That's where I pulled over. He pulled me over. And I'm not trespassing. The property owner has to say I'm trespassing. You're not the property owner. Look, sir. So you're not going to give me your license? No. Listen. I need to prove that you can operate a motor vehicle in the no, state of Tennessee. No, you don't. You didn't pull me over for that reason. This guy, this guy. And is my vehicle, is there something wrong First of all, well, you didn't... the fact that you're parked on a curb. That's not yeah. illegal. This is a pu private parking lot. There's nothing wrong. Look, now you're trying to find a reason to pull me over and stop me. And you didn't stop me. You I didn't, didn't pull me. You. Exactly. Now you're just look hunting for something to try to get my ID. I have to prove you are who you say you I'm are. I am going to file a lawsuit. Okay. And I'm going to sue you and him okay. for, unlawful, for uh, unlawful imprisonment. Tony, I'm not being rude to you. We're just talking, right? You understand I'm upset, right? I, I clearly understand you're upset. Okay. But I have to be able to prove you can legally operate a Why? vehicle in the state of Why? Tennessee because I'm a police officer. Did you see me operating this vehicle? No, but you're parked on the side of a curb. You have a child in the back seat. And? I'm going to make sure that child is safe. Oh, my God. I'm going to leave now? You're not going anywhere okay. right now. Okay. Get your supervisor. Detained. Get your supervisor. Five. Can I have 50 seating over here? Yeah. This guy had no right to stop me. This is where it all started, right? You agree? Okay. This guy had no right to stop me, correct? So you say? Okay, what right did he have to stop me? He's a law enforcement official. Okay, that just gives him the right to stop anybody? That gives him the right to stop anyone. No, incorrect. With Where did you go to do your training? Have you heard of the Constitution? It says Chattanooga Have Police you heard Department. of the Constitution? What is your name? Hamilton. Ham what's your first name? Right there. I'm not giving you my first name. Okay. Listen. You don't want to give me your last name, I'm not going to give you my first name. Okay. Listen. You want to give me your last name, I'll give you my first name. No. Listen. You understand that the Constitution allows me protections in this country, correct? correct? And you were sworn to uphold those, the Constitution. Correct. Okay. If I'm just walking down the street, right, can he just stop me for any reason? 
Not without articulable suspicion he can. Of what? A crime, correct? I didn't say a crime, I said articulable okay. suspicion. Okay, the That's whole phrase thing. is of a crime. You know what, Tony? You've asked for my supervisor, he's, he's on his Okay, well then I'll, I'll wait for the supervisor. Okay, great. You can't start fishing for reasons to try to get my ID. Amazing, yes, you are. Oh, are you are you safe to operate a motor vehicle? Oh, are you safe to be on the road? Oh, is your baby safe? Of course my baby's safe. Okay. What the fudge? I mean, okay. come on, man. Right. You're just trying to back up what this guy did. And this guy obviously acted without legal okay. authority. You've asked for a supervisor? How long is that oh, going to take, great. for God's sakes? I got things to do. I got to bring the baby home, get her fed for lunch, and go to bed. She needs her nap. And you and this guy are holding that up. We're gonna wait I hope you feel good about yourself. You, you know what you should have done? You should have told this guy. You should have said, oh, what was the guy doing? Go ahead. Bob, I need somebody over here. You should have told this guy. You said, you should, what was he doing? Oh, he was videotaping? Totally lawful. Why did you pull him over? No reason. Well, then you should have told this guy, go away. Charlie, I'm free to go. You just heard from 50. Can you head to 6101 Fresh Fresh Drive? Hey, that's great. Fourth Amendment? Yeah. First Amendment? Not exactly, but... Okay. Videotaping, freedom of speech, freedom of uh, the press, freedom of... Are you press? I'm an independent journalist. I'm not saying it's illegal to film anything, sir. I'm not saying that at all. Well, then that's why the guy stopped me. We're trying to figure out why you're filming a government building. Because I that's want it. to. I'm asking a question. You never asked me why I'm filming the building. He did. Well, honestly, it's none of his business. I can just tell him, go away. It's none of your business. I can start into Bob's location as well if he needs me. Uh, does he need emergency or not? Bob, that's negative. I need a supervisor at my location for a request of a person. I mean, we can just end this all right now. You can just say you're free to go. I mean, I'm not a free. You think that accident Sir, yes, that supervisor. We're going to wait for supervisor. You can tell them not to come and I can just go home. You asked for one, so why would I do that? You specifically asked it for Okay, well, I mean, I'll wait. For a supervisor. Huh? All right, well, I'll wait. Well, you asked for one, I'm getting you one. <sighs> I know, but I'm saying if you had just said you could be free to go, we wouldn't be doing any of this. Correct, but you asked for a supervisor. Oh, my God, okay. That's what we're going to do. Well, you can tell him ne never mind, right? I mean, I don't care if your that supervisor... That not doing my job, so I'm going to do my right. job. All right, all right. You not doing your job is telling this guy what the law is. I can't tell this guy what the law is. He already knows. He has no clue, obviously. Okay. He can't just stop me. Okay. He can stop me. See those blue lights? That's well, obviously, law I could put those lights on my car. Does that mean I can stop people? No, because that would be illegal because you're oh, not a okay. law enforcement him, officer in the state. Him pulling me over you without... You me a question, I'm answering you, Listen. Sir. Him, I'm answering your question. Him pulling me he over is, without probable cause law, is unlawful. He has lawful authority to pull you over anytime he thinks he needs to. That is sad that you think that. That is well, sad. That sounds like a discussion you can have in court. <laughs> I'm not going to court. Well, unless I sue you, okay. which I will. Well, you said you would earlier. So okay, I will. I will. We'll have your day in court. I'm sure some civil lawyer is going to have a field day with this one. Okay. All right, well. You're waiting for my supervisor, who you asked for and requested to be here. Okay. All right, I'll wait. That's fine. Okay. Not a I mean, you've seen people do First Amendment audits all the time, haven't you? I'm not sure I understand the question. Do you ever watch YouTube? Occasionally. Okay. There's something on there called the First Amendment Audit. That's what kind of what I was doing. And I'll tell you something. Okay. I've never heard of that, but okay. Okay. That's what I was doing. Okay. What that means is that when you engage in a First Amendment protected activity, such as videotaping public buildings, which that is public road, public parking lot, correct? Anybody can drive through there which is what I did. I never said you could. Couldn't. Okay, but don't you just see what you're saying right now? Yeah. This no. guy stopped me for doing a publicly allowed activity, videoing and driving through his parking lot. All I'm saying is as a law enforcement official, he has every right to pull you over to find out why you're filming his No, movie. incorrect. He okay. has no right to pull me. Yes, he has no, lawyer. yes. Okay. Well, well not, not a current lawyer, okay. but I used to be one. Okay. So but listen. Not, you're not on the bar in the state of Tennessee? No, uh -uh. Okay. In, no, from a different state. Okay. Um, listen, he had the right to ask me a question. He could have just come out of the office and said, hey, excuse me, what are you doing? And I would have said, I could have ignored him and driven away, which is what I did. He had no right to stop me. He had no right to hit his lights, which is a detainment of me under color of law, correct? 
Yeah. So you say, okay. Under color of his authority. So you say, okay. What do you mean, so I say? I mean, that's what happens you when you turn on your lights, right? You said I don't know the law, so I don't know the law. <laughs> I said you might not, you must not know this law, which is a pretty big law, the Constitution. I mean, it's sad that this guy ignores that. And the reason I'm videoing, videoing this is, A, for my protection. Because this, it too, so. right, exactly. This guy isn't though. I mean, he could have said anything. He could have said, "I waved a gun. I, I just, I flashed some weapon out the windows." I, I mean, they, they could say anything. You know, ju that would justify a stop. Hence, why I came up to try to talk to you to see what's going on. Why isn't that guy over here? I don't know. Yeah, I think he's a little afraid. But I don't know. He's, he strikes me as somebody who's power tripping. But I'm going to turn this off for a second so I don't waste my uh, memory fella has to say. Now we have two police officers, but he's not the supervisor. Totally good. Wait for supervisor. Who are you? Uh, yeah. What's your badge number? 1083. 1083. Awesome. I just pulled over by this guy for no reason. Oh. I mean, he thinks he has a reason, but he doesn't. So... Tony here, won't give me his last name, has asked to speak to his supervisor based on him alleging that he was erroneously pulled over, so we're going to get a supervisor right here so we can talk about it. Simple enough. Well, since you're here and since we got time to kill, I'll just tell you, I pulled through his FBI, not FBI, TBI, whatever they call it, parking lot with my camera out the window filming his office. He came hauling butt after me and pulled me over. End of story. Okay. <laughs> End of story. That's it. So, is the supervisor in a marked car too? Yes. No. Yes, no. no idea. Y'all got his name. I got his first name. You got his first name. Does he have a driver's license? Yeah, uh, he hasn't given it to me yet. Uh, he asked to speak to the supervisor, and we got one in around. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to need to see your driver's license to see who you are. No. So, can I ask, what are you doing? I was explaining to him. First of all, if you'd come out of your office instead of yelling and screaming, I might have stopped for you. I, I asked you to stop. I said, sir, can I talk to you? And and then you start pulling off. I tapped the back of your truck and said, stop. And you sped off. I sped off. I just drove away. You, you, I didn't speed. Okay. Sorry. That's just a matter of semantics. Anyway. Would describe. So my question to you. You ever heard of a First Amendment have, audit? I got you. Have you ever heard of security? Yes. Have you ever heard of Homeland Security? Have you ever heard of anything about folks driving by and taking pictures? Yeah. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, just like any law enforcement agency or anybody, would get very suspicious. When somebody, this is the second time you have driven by our building and you have taken photos. Right. This time you, Correct. You went around twice, then you pulled in. Well, I had the to come back. I, thank you. You pulled into the parking lot. You come through and you slowly go by and you're recording the whole front side of our right. building. Right. Correct. The glass, the cam. Are you looking for cameras? You're looking for glass? You're looking for security measures at what we have? Are you recording all the vehicles in our parking lot? Sir, I have concern, and you can say you're... I understand you're concerned, but you have no right to ask me for my ID. Me. No, actually, I don't. Well, good. What I need to see is I need to see your driver's Not happening. Hmm? Not happening. Oh, All right, Tony, do me a favor. We're not trying to get anything from the supervisor's hand, but while we're talking to you, take your hand on your pocket, please. Thank you. So, sorry, it's just a habit. I want to put my hand in my pocket. Um, I don't have any weapons. I've got a baby in the car, Great. so, and you we guys don't are... don't know that. We delayed. don't know who you are. You see that? Tony, when I approached you, we think I'm screwing around with weapons with a baby in the car. Listen, Tony, when I approached you right there, all I asked you was, "Who are you? What are you doing?" And what did I say? Well, you said stuff. I've got no no reason to talk to you. It's my First Amendment right. I can do whatever I want to. Is this a law? That's not what you. Listen, no, I don't think that's what I said. I'm sorry. I may, maybe I've I asked that. you what your reason was for stopping me. Because you drove by my building. You basically you said did. because you wanted to. No, I didn't say. That. All right. Again, there's again. You're wrong about that. I didn't All right. Say that. Listen, you, this officer, and I think this officer probably would agree that there's nothing unlawful about what I did. 
correct? I would not agree with that, no. <laughs> what is unlawful about pulling through a, a exactly public parking lot? We've, we've been attacked, officers have been killed, and people have blown up police departments and federal buildings. I know, but doing what you're doing. Look, I understand that. Questions. I understand that. Look, I don't hate cops. I'm not one of these cop hating. You're doing, but this is what's called a First Amendment audit, which I told him. Listen, I, I don't really care. What I'm telling you is you said that we would agree, and no, I would not agree. Okay. So your, your conversation but you would agree, I think all three of you would agree, that the street is public, correct? Correct? Public street? Public parking lot, Listen, public building. Is it Tony? Is that yeah, Tony. 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 Videography is not illegal, Tony, correct? Do you want to listen to me? No, you, oh. I don't, actually. Right, so what I need from you, Tony? Not happening. Tony? Tony, here's my supervisor. Hello. I'm Tony. Hey, Tony. Well, this is a big to-do about nothing. Okay. I mean, I, I, you want to hear his spiel first? I mean, I don't know. Sure. This is uh, Tony, and it, apparently that's all we know at this point. Uh, my name is Tommy Farmer. I work over here at the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. So I'm in a conference call, and I think maybe they're still on with the conference call. And Tony, at this vehicle, this truck, drives around our building twice and then slows again. Now, this is the second event. Uh, probably a month or so ago, uh, this vehicle, driven by this gentleman, drove by our building and out on the roadway and snapped pictures video really slow everything about our parking lot and our building okay so nothing was done nothing was said that's fine so I'm on a conference call today in the conference room and I see this vehicle drive by again and then turn around and comes to our parking lot and the, his phone up just like he's doing it right now he slows down and he slowly goes into our parking lot and he's videoing everything about our building the front doors, I don't know if he's recording where all the cameras are at, all of our security devices, all of our security measures. He slowly goes down to all of that. I leave the conference room, go out the door. He's stopped in our driveway, in our parking lot. I walk over and I said, sir, can I talk to you? Sir, who are you? Can I talk to you? He starts pulling out of the driveway. I said, sir, stop. I tapped the back of his truck. I said, stop. I want to talk to you. He speeds off, takes off down the road. I stop him right here. When I approach him here, I walk up. I said, sir, who are you? Do you have a driver's license and who are you? And he said, who are you and what authority? You have no authority to stop me. I said, I'm Tommy Farmer with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. I do have the authority to stop you. You're suspicious. What are you doing here? He said, I'm leaving. I said, no, you're not leaving. And it's going to be one of those. That's fine. I'll call Chattanooga Police Department and you can talk to them and explain to them who you are. But no, you're not leaving. So then he chose to pull up and back up and he redirects his vehicle like he's going to get out of here. I'm on the phone with the dispatcher. I'm sure that's on the recorded line. And I did pull my vehicle and, and the, the block the driveway until your officers could get here. No cooperation whatsoever. He has refused to provide any identification or anything. Uh, and then I, I can turn it over and let your guys uh, handle it from there. We're still not. And I have asked him since then. Sir, I'm telling you, I'm going to look at your driver's license. I'm going uh, I don't to think so. I'm going to identify you one way or the other. Well, I, I'm just letting you know that. I don't think so. Okay. I'm just hoping this uh, supervisor, I'm sure you, a P. Moser, knows the law. So what's your, what's your take? The only take I have is that nothing I did was illegal. Nothing I did allowed him to suspect that I was engaged in any kind of criminal activity. Taking photos is not criminal. Driving through his prop, uh, parking lot is not criminal. He had no right to detain me. What he did is he hit his lights, he pulled me over. I didn't know who he was when he came out of his office. I was pulling out of his lot by the time I saw him, and he's yelling, and I'm just like, I don't have any reason to stop for this guy. I don't know who he is. I, he didn't say stop police or anything. He just said stop. I have no obligation to stop for him because I don't know who he is. He didn't flash a badge or anything. Um, anyway, does, that doesn't matter because everything I did was completely 100% lawful. And for him to pull me over and say he has a right to ID me is incorrect. Because I was not engaged, he has no PC to think I was engaged in any kind of uh, criminal activity. That I either had been or was about to engage in criminal activity. So you were over there taking pictures of the building? Yeah, I drove past, camera like this, went down to the cul-de-sac, turned around, came back. He followed me one time before, which is what he said. I was going to FedEx, right? And I just said, oh, TBI. I watch a lot of these uh, First Amendment audits on YouTube, so I just decided to do my own impromptu one. 
stuck the camera. I just had the camera like right here in the window. I'm driving by. He follows me to FedEx. I pull in the lot. I didn't even know he was following me. I pulled in the lot, got my package out, went into FedEx, and I see this guy. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if that was from the TBI. So the next time when I pulled out, I saw his truck parked in the lot, and I said, oh, sure enough, that was the guy from TBI. They followed me. I couldn't believe it that just having my camera in the window slowly driving by was enough for this guy to follow me. So today we're in the neighborhood. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go over there again and see if, if, this, if they're stupid enough to, to overreact like that. And sure enough, this guy was stupid enough to overreact like that. Because honestly, I got my baby, and this, this officer's concerned about her welfare, which... I mean, that's why he wanted to ID me, huh? You got your baby in the truck? Yeah, she's right there. Baby okay? Yeah. Come on, we'll be using check and make sure? Yeah. She's, she's sitting right there. So anyway, <laughs> look, officer, I mean, you know that you have to have a probable cause to ID somebody. This isn't a stop and ID state. Well, you're, you're videoing a federal building. That's not unlawful. There were, Homeland Security issued a notice about it saying it's not unlawful. Uh, the Supreme Court has ruled on it numerous times that it's not unlawful. It is 100%, Tennessee has no law against videotaping. Basically, anything you can see from public, and that's a public road, public parking lot, public building. I could have walked into his building and videotaped. There's no law well, against it. You can do that. I can do that. I'll go over there and do it right now. <laughs> Probably, no. Yes, I can. It's a public building, correct? I'm sorry. You want to pat it down? If you were let us, that'd be great. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead put your hands on, on, the, on the hood there, on the structure. Now you can keep your hands in your pockets all day long. Is that another phone? Or That's my phone? wallet. Well, okay. Yeah, there it is. I just stick my hands in my pocket no, all the no, time, so I'm allowing does. you to pat me down. Everybody does. You're good. All right. I think you're good. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Yeah. I'm not trying to be a dick. I know I'm sounding like a dick. And uh, you probably think I'm a dick. But the thing is, as Americans, I have a right to be free in my movements, correct? And this is, he's detaining me. It's an unlawful detainment. That is what the lawsuit would well, be about. As you're, as you're asking that question, I'm gonna, I got here at the end, so your issue is not with me. No. Being a third party and also in the same mindset as you are, the reason I would disagree is for the reasons I was stating before you came up and started talking, okay? Uh, we've had police departments attacked, federal buildings attacked. I get it. But, but, but people do reconnaissance before they do some sort of attack. Not just people with a baseball bat and show up like a, you know, a hothead. People do exactly what you said, okay? So, uh, for instance, a few years ago, some of our officers, people tried to get them in trouble for them taking pictures. And, so they caught some people taking pictures and videos. This is right after our July attack of the chemical plant right down the street from our department. Right. People called in, said, this concerns me. If you hit that, it can blow up a large portion of the city. So... Is that with the two guys and one one was a black guy? Yeah, and that... I don't remember. I wasn't there. Uh, there was a few other officers and people put on Facebook. I'm sorry. Yeah. YouTube, yeah, that's, this is exactly what I'm talking about. But, but that, they were within the legal right. And if you were a lawyer, as he says, I, I'm not saying you weren't, but if you were, they were in the legal right to identify you because that's a suspicious person. Incorrect. If, no, you can let me speak. Listen to me, okay? If, what, what law did you practice? Uh, my man. Uh, some criminal defense, family law, so, contracts. Basically, when you said probable cause, you know the difference between reasonable suspicion and probable cause? Well, you have to have reasonable suspicion to get probable right. cause. And what reasonable person is how that works, right? What reasonable person right. will be doing this? Most of us, even if I wasn't a cop, I've only been one for 12 years, I would not drive by a federal building more than once for that matter. I might get out and take a picture of myself, you know, a selfie or something like that. But I would not drive by multiple times and take video. Right. To me, I would be like, I don't want these people thinking I'm going to do something to them because I want to be someone they want to protect, which is what my text is going like, to like. Yeah, of course. I mean, I get it. But do you think somebody would be stupid enough that's about to pull off an attack that would be driving by slowly the with the camera All sticking the out the window the and then pull through the parking lot? All the time. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's still unlawful to detain me and you have no right to ID no, me. We're never going to agree on that. I don't, just, I don't agree with you and you don't agree with me. That's okay because you're an American citizen. So well, we can have, we can do whatever we want. The Supreme Court agrees with me. I would disagree on that. Well, okay. What ruling? 
I just told you. I just explained. No, what ruling no, from the Supreme case. Court? What okay. Says you can't. <laughs> well, give me that case. Law. You're right. You got me. No, I don't know off the top of my head. Well, I'm going to go right back at you. If we're right. Do this type well, I mean, a bajillion case. Fourth and Fifth Amendments, First Amendments. No, I mean. The case law, you expect you well, I would Google it, but then you know I'd have to pull out my phone. Well, you have your phone, but you're busy doing something. That's else. correct. And we are too. We've got a bunch right. of people. We'll be okay. I'm just thinking that, uh, you know, this is a classic no right to stop. This isn't a stop and frisk. This isn't stop and ID. That Tennessee has no such well, thing. He, he explained it wasn't a stop and frisk, stop and ID. He explained why it was stopped. And he, and he gave right, up and I, and I, suspicion uh, of why. And you may not agree with it, and that's what, what the courts are for. But what law, what crime is suspicion? Well, instead of a crime of suspicion. You guys always suspicion. drop off the, the important part of what... PC is. You have to have probable... You two. Oh, did, you know us personally now? How no, but he explained it already. Okay. Or he was... The same thing he you're saying. Okay. okay. However, probable cause requires that you believe I'm engaged in a criminal activity or about to. Exactly. So you just, right there, said exactly what we've explained. So you understand it, you're just not agreeing with it. Okay, but... Videography in and of itself cannot be reason for a stop. Wait, listen, That's we, been listen, ruled on. Okay, explain this. I'll explain this. Let's say that I am dealing with him and he's not an officer. He is struggling with me and I am telling him to stop resisting, put your hands and he's refusing. You run up, put a camera in my face. You have every right to record, but I'm going to ask you to step back sure. and do it from a safe distance. Right. If you don't, I can arrest you for interfering with sure. what I'm doing and putting my safety at risk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So that's basically what that is. Right. You see what I'm saying? Most people aren't going to run up and get straight up into someone's face and do that because that made me feel unsafe, which is what those guys, they don't have a mobile unit they drive, that you're driving around taking pictures of. They're doing it at their home base. You see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to give you a glimpse of what he might, most likely is thinking. He, by the gray in his head, has been doing it a lot longer than him and I have. I promise that. Well, he's been also violating people's rights for a lot longer know, than you guys have been. So I don't really know. But we're just Look, this is, a matter, this is a matter of civil rights. Okay? This is a matter of so. civil rights rights and that's what it is how old's your daughter three let me uh let me give her some juice you can watch what i'm doing He know nothing. He knows nothing happened last time, so now he's you know curious this time. And I already explained what I was doing. So now he's writing down my drive my plates so he can ID me, which is great. Good work. Yeah, Bubba? I know, I would. You're free to take a picture from a distance if you like, but get out of my personal space. Yeah, Tony, I tell you what, son. Thank you. We yeah. should have a good one on our body cameras. You need to pull it up. Okay. That's free to move. Yeah. I'm not required to go for your lineup. Okay. So. Don't take pictures of my child. She's in public, Tony, like you explained. Go away, pedophile. <laughs> Just a little humor, all right? It's bad humor. I know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Tony, I know I should probably ask you, do you have any psychological issues? Have you ever... Any treatment, treatment issues or anything like that? Do you? I, I'm just Have there. you gone for family counseling or anything? Emotional problems? You. Do you take drugs of any kind? Are you drinking right now, sir? Have you been drinking? So, so is your I name Anthony or is it Tony? I'm not giving you any information other than what I've already given. And you got my license plate so you can figure out who I am so you can go away now. So it doesn't work quite that way, Tony. Uh, you are operating a vehicle 
on the roadways, do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. But you have no right to ask for it. You're not enforcing the laws of the street, the traffic rules. You're exactly right. I am not enforcing the traffic laws. I am not. That's right. Correct. But y'all got a strong part. I have not. Are we almost done? Sure. Are we almost done? Not sure. This is a painfully long detainment. If I was unlawfully detained, what do you think that would be worth for about an hour's worth of unlawful detainment? I have no idea how long you've been In a here. civil case, what do you think? How long have you been here? I have no idea. I, well, it's probably going to be going on an hour soon. It probably would have been done probably within five minutes if you identified yourself and you explained you had legal reasons. There would have been no problem at all if you hadn't followed me. Obviously, this looks like we're not going to agree anymore. So right. Really no point in asking questions. Right. This is the drive. Correct. Right. As you have it done. Correct. Uh, so That's because none of your officers pulled me over for a, an infraction. So unless you're saying I've committed an infraction. And you're observed by an officer, an agent, done vehicle, and you're not producing driver's license. I'm going to let this officer here talk to you a second about what we're going to do with that. Tony? Yep. Tony, right? Tony yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're good to go. Okay, thank you. Have Can I day. just go around you guys? Uh, no, we're going to back out here. Now. Okay, all right. Just letting you know you're good to go. Okay, well, I appreciate yeah. that. As long as this guy knows I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. Like all right. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not. You're not? Uh oh. All right, let me get this truck started. I have no doubt. Since they didn't get my driver's license that they're going to try to pull me over after I get out of here. So we'll wait and see what they do. They are going bye-bye. Yes, they are. They're going bye-bye. I'd call it the drive of shame, but they already identified me by uh, running my plate, so they already know who I am. So this clown over here got what he wanted, which is unfortunate because he's a douche, so I'm still going to file a complaint against him and I'm going to file a, uh, possibly a lawsuit because I've been detained now probably close to an hour and um, totally uncalled for, totally 100% BS. So I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. All right, anybody who's uh, found this interesting, uh, they never got my ID, which I guess is kind of an empty uh, victory at this point because I guess my mistake was bringing my baby girl with me and driving my truck so that they could run my license. So I should have come on foot or a bicycle, and uh, then they would have got nothing. And if I had to go to jail, um, they would have um, not been able to take my baby away from me. So anyway, all right, out.